Well, today marks the opening of the Golden State Triage Center. It's on Golden State Boulevard in Fowler. The center is operated by Turning Point of Central California and gives people the resources to end their homelessness. Here to let us know what the resources are and the impact of the center in this community, we welcome Jody Ketchaside, the regional director for Turning Point of Central California. Welcome. Thanks. We're so excited to have you here. To I'm chat excited about to be this. here. Tell us a little bit uh, what. Inspired to open up a center like this. So Fresno was uh, the city of Fresno was given awarded the HEAP dollars, which is the Homeless Emergency Aid Program dollars through the state of California, and allocated a certain percentage of those dollars to go into opening some type of triage model shelter. Okay. So that's the the funding is coming through the city of Fresno for it. Awesome. Well, tell us a little bit about the center. What's it all about? So it's a 37 bed triage model and what that means is that you know, traditionally homeless shelters used to be where you could go in um, and maybe stay every night for two years and never actually exit into housing, right? Um, well, the national best practice is now to run those shelters a little more intentionally with housing-focused services and making sure that as people come in, the primary goal is looking at what what is it going to take to end this person's homelessness mm -hmm. so that they don't continue to have to keep visiting uh, these types of programs. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, what are some of the services that you offer someone coming to the triage center? So there's on-site case management. We provide three meals a day and a couple of snacks. Um, all of their hygiene supplies, um, anything that they need for the you know their day-to-day -day basic needs, mm -hmm. and then we also do linkages to other service providers where they can get, you know, if they want substance abuse treatment or mental health treatment, that we wow. can link them up. We'll make the appointments for them. We can assist with transportation. Um, so the the it's sort of like they can get everything that they need in this one spot and kind of try to prevent them from having to run all over town. I mean, that makes a huge difference. I mean, it's a long-term solution, not just a now solution. Yes. Well, with this, um, is, how long can someone stay if they come to the triage center? So it's a maximum stay of 90 days. Okay. Um, and each case is looked at on an individual basis. So sometimes people only stay you know, a couple of weeks, and sometimes people will need the whole 90 days. Absolutely. Well, is anyone qualified for this if they're wanting to come to the triage center? So the basic qualification is that you have to be literally homeless, meaning that you're sleeping on the streets. Um, and what we do tell people is that if they are, um, you know, under, super, under supervision for a sex offense or a reg registered sex offender, we are within 3,000 feet of a school. So we do let them know that if they are registered, that if they stayed there, then they would be out of compliance with their terms. Gotcha. Um, so other than that, there's no preconditions for sobriety or mental health treatment compliance. We really are a housing first model where we want to be able to help everyone. Absolutely. And you guys just opened, but have you had anyone come by already, or have you gotten to work with anyone? Yes, it was actually filled within four hours of opening. Wow. So this is a huge so. difference to have this type of center. Yes, and this is actually the fourth one that's opened in the community. Turning Point operates two of them, and then Mental Health Systems operates one, and Pavarello House operates one. Wow. How important is it to have a center like this in the Valley? Multiple centers. It's it's extremely important because we had such a lack of shelter beds before. Mm -hmm. People didn't have the option of getting inside and getting services. And while delivering services on the street is really helpful, um, a lot you, for a lot of people it can only it only takes them so far because if they get moved along or they have to relocate, then they could be difficult to find and it may take longer to end their homelessness. So. It's super important for people to have a place to go. And these centers are great because they don't have to leave during the day. Absolutely. So they're able to connect with their case managers or social workers or whoever they're working with. And I can't even imagine some of the lives that's going to change with this. Well, how, how does it feel for you to get to be a part of a program like this? So this is actually super huge for me personally because it's been a dream of mine apparently since I was a kid. Um, I keep getting reminded of that, that I've been talking about this since I was little. But um, So it's super exciting for me to get to be part of it. Um, and, and it just feels good to be able to bring people inside 
help them, you know, put things together, get a place to store their stuff so that they feel like they can go get services and not worry about it being stolen. And, you know, you can almost see the relief once they're inside that they have some place to be and put their stuff. Absolutely. And I know a lot of people also have pets with them. Mm -hmm. Do you guys let pets in? We do. We accommodate partners, pets, and possessions. So we can uh, serve couples as well as um, a one pet per person. That's awesome. Huge relief. Well, thank you so much for coming sure, thanks for and talking me. about this center. I mean, it's an incredible thing to have here in the Valley. Thank you. We're excited about it.